so this is my uh, this is actually a continuation of my previous video spring boot spring security jwty so here what i am going to do is i already add so many things to that application jwty authentication filter and jwty token utility so next thing that we need to configure our web security so we need to add a web security config first so if i am going here and adding a web security config actually for web security config we need to extend from web security config adapter web security web security config, config adapter configurator adapter oh yeah this is the one so this is a spring spring framework security config annotation web configuration web security config adapter so sometimes you will have some documentation for that but yeah it looks like there is no documentation so it's basically what is doing in the next see what what are the methods in in this and maybe we can understand something that is happening inside this one so this basically a abstract class for web security conductor mm, yeah basically it's a configuration i mean whenever we are configuring spring security we need to extend from web security configure adapter that's a only understanding i have on this maybe you guys can research more and also whenever we are doing this one we need to add some annotations here so configuration since it is a configuration for our spring security we need to add that and the next is enable web security has to enable spring security uh, web security okay and enable global method security that i am not sure what it means for so there is no documentation here also so the post enable secure enable case are 20 and around no exactly then yeah then we need to have two resources which I am going to add on this. two resources means user details of it that we use essentially on our previous video and this one resource so Java X annotation resource so this resource some documentation with their resource that is needed by the application maybe apply to an application from my class so please so because the annotation is applied to your credit method the content will be being checked and since of their credit is accessible to the application component the component is initialized so it's actually for creating the thing then uh, yeah for, for this particular one okay then yeah, what a weird everyone familiar with that I don't want to so say a type of link creation and then JWT authentication entry point so JWT authentication entry point where exactly it is JWT authentication entry point I guess I need to define uh, yeah it's a it's actually a common class i need to define in my create a class in my uh, config package so i'm just adding that class also here so to so, the remaining parts the security config so i just change yes, i just add this one Otherwise, we can go to Jeribility Authentication Entry Point itself and add some modification. Then we can, after completing that one, we can come back and complete this one. So, um, here 
authentication entry point JWT authentication entry point and serial is about so there is any documentation there is no documentation it's an entry point where HTTP server stickers server response authentication exception so actually authentication entry point okay don't know exactly that also so basically we don't need to understand everything on this one but it is better if you we are researching something it's better but this is actually an internet interface and we need to implement something here so here i have response sent error this okay comments so so response so gtb response send error scan notarize so this notarize 401 okay so this is the thing so whenever we are getting some gtb error uh, i mean error or something unauthorized error or something during that time we will send this one so uh, an application where we are using uh, Spring security or uh, authentication exception is happening will send this one so if you are in a gateway application or something probably you need to add some uh, some other header or something to the HTTP server response if uh, in a gateway environment I'm not sure whether it's it's uh, required things or something so the voice the front the niagara application may have some issues to get the uh, http response code but i am not sure i have some scenarios in my application development where i i use zoom gateway as an authentication server then another service in the backend so when i got some exception like this it's not sending the correct uh, 401 code the, it's sending 401 code but uh, angular rejecting that so probably you guys need to figure out whether it's a necessary thing if it is a necessary thing you need to add some headers here i don't know how we will add headers here but yeah but it's a possibility i mean uh, keeping mind if you have some uh, uh, errors of exception i mean that in that case you can come here and add something here okay yeah, thank you for watching we will continue chatably uh, web security conflict next video thank you thank you have a nice day